testing of the sound. Testing, testing. What up, guys? So, it's all about horoscopes today. What is my horoscope? It is Virgo. My zodiac sign is Virgo. We're going to read my horoscope today. Find out what I'm really like. Find out all the. I'm gonna check this website and another just to, to you know, not to go go by one website. You know, you don't wanna do that. It might be inaccurate. You know, anything like this. Uh, so yeah, let's roll the video. Roll the intro, and I'll see you in a bit. Zodiac star signs. Star signs, guys, what are they? Do they even make any sense? Are they even real? Is it even worth reading into this? Full disclaimer, like, don't read into this. It might not be true. But mine's pretty accurate, I'll be honest. And it's pretty scary at the same time. Compatibility and stuff and, like, certain things that you, you do in certain situations. It's just so me. Such a Virgo. Um, if you want me to do other star signs... Regarding yours, uh, let me know. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm going to talk about my own because I can relate to me, I know. But even when you read it based on other people, you'll you be like realising that that's how they are. It's like, whoa, that is you. Jeez. Time. Wrong. 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 That is it's wrong. And he did the wrong thing. Wrong. That is absolutely wrong. Proved over and over. Obviously, everyone's their own person, so surely your life experiences can change what this means. I don't know. Anyway, let's get yep, on. The Colours I like include grey, beige, and pale, yellow. Not really, no. More of a green or blue kind of guy. My day is Wednesday. It is Wednesday today. Yeah. So I'm in luck. We greatest overall compatibility. Pisces, Cancer. I do have a few people I get on with the Pisces. Um, a few that are Virgo as well, actually. Funny enough, we'll get onto that later. What that means. <laughs> Lucky numbers five. 14, 15, 23, 32. Yeah, 23 maybe. Don't know about the other numbers. Yeah, date Rage Organs 23rd to September 22nd. My birthday is the 28th of August. If you didn't already know, I mean, come on. Um, I made a vlog all about it. I, I went crazy. I I've done many v birthday vlogs actually. I mean, this year's birthday vlog was just crazy, beyond belief. <laughs> okay, so Virgo traits. Loyal. I'm, I'm kind of loyal, okay. Analytical, yeah, don't stop thinking about stuff. That's true. Kind, on occasion. <laughs> yeah, I, okay, yeah. Hardworking, yeah. Hence the YouTube career. Hard work, well, yeah. I, I know that I can't have fun unless I've done some work that day. Like, I can't just wake up in the morning and watch a film, watch YouTube play PlayStation or not do something that's work related to what I do anyway. Shyness, yeah, that is a weakness. I am shy when you meet me, honestly. Um, don't know how I'm going to deal with fame when I, when I make these billions and millions of dollars or pounds or whatever you call it. When I get these billions of subscribers. <laughs> Put a like on this video by the way guys if you haven't already. Like, share, comment, subscribe. To Louise21, keep it real. And I hope you have seen my music video, Summer Street Beats by DJ21. I don't know. I don't know what my DJ name's gonna be, but yeah. Back to today's video. <laughs> Worry, yeah, that's another weakness. Overly critical of self and others. All work, no play. Come on, I don't know about all work, no play. I don't know about that at all. <laughs> I do do a lot of work though with this whole YouTube. Virgo likes animals, healthy food, books, nature, cleanliness. I am a bit OCD, I'll be honest. I don't mind animals, healthy food, well, not at the moment, I'm trying to gain weight really. Books, okay, yeah, yeah. Rudeness is what I dislike. Asking for help, taking centre stage. Yes, the taking centre stage is part of being shy, I guess. I wouldn't be on, I would never want to be on the stage 
in front of any number of people. Whenever I got up in class to present something or talk or read anything, I was just really scared. I just f would freeze like a rabbit in headlights. Um, yeah, asking for help, yeah. just want to do it myself, basically. That's kind of ironic, isn't it? In my situation, all the help I get from others anyway, so... But yeah, still, I don't like to ask for help. Rudeness, yeah, nobody likes rudeness, really. How can you like rudeness? Of course it's a dislike. So yeah, let's read... Let's read what it says about me. This bloody scroll is annoying. The scroll's like halfway down before I can... A great success! Let's see what I'm reading. Okay. Virgo always paying attention to the smallest details, and their deep sense of humanity makes them one of the most careful signs of the zodiac. Their methodical approach to life ensures that nothing is left to chance. Mm, yeah, I still make mistakes though. Uh, and although they are often tender, their heart might be closed for the outer world. This is a sign. Jesus. <laughs> it's closing the window in there. This is a sign often misunderstood. Not because they lack the ability to express, but because they won't accept their feelings as valid. Oh, jeez. True or even relevant when they're opposed to reason. The symbolism behind the name speaks well of their nature. Born with feeling that experiencing everything for the first time. Virgo, Virgin, yeah, well, right, right, sharp. Don't even go there. <laughs> yeah, Virgo it is. It's an Earth sign. Fitting perfectly between Taurus and Capricorn. Oh god. Scroll down too far, guys. I just love it when you scroll too far. This will lead to a strong character, but one that prefers conservative, well organised things and a lot of practicality in their everyday life. These individuals have an organised life and even when they let go to chaos, their goals and dreams still have strictly defined borders in their mind. We're very focused, yeah. Constantly worried that they miss the detail, yes. In every video, guys, in every video. At some point I, I'm editing, I'm like, let me do that again. Or that's wrong, or I don't like this. Okay, because they worry that they've missed a detail that would be impossible to fix. They get stuck in details, I certainly do. Not all the time, but most of the time. <laughs> overly critical, becoming overly critical and concerned about matters that nobody else seems to care much about. Little things that aren't important, yes. <laughs> overly exaggerated. Over little things, yeah, that's, that's probably me. It's definitely me. Guys, you're not going to believe this bit. This is just so weird. And like, when I read this for the first time, I got freaked out. Okay, so many Virgos may choose to pursue a career as writers, journalists, which I studied journalism, and typists. But their need to serve others makes them feel good as caregivers on a clear mission to help. <laughs> Yay! actually like to help others that's good that's good guys if you don't help others what are you doing so yeah here's a little story about the, the actual zodiac god it derives from so the disappointed goddess why am i a goddess god jesus this isn't fair this isn't fair <laughs> got he <laughs> got he <laughs> Keep together. Keep a straight head. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Seeking God Godness in humankind is a story of Virgo. And disappointment seems to be inevitable from their point of view. Oh god. The first time they came from oh, wherever I don't know, this is so weird anyway came from their cloud and jumped onto planet earth it felt like their mission is to use their existence for good 
discovering ways of justice and purity in other people. Once they fail to find it too many times, Virgos will pull away, get lost, turn to substance abuse, or simply separate from other people to sit on the bench, criticize and judge. Oh God, from helping others, justice and purity to substance abuse, guys. Is this really time anything wrong happens? Well, I say they're wrong because they were wrong. And were they wrong? Are they wrong? I think they're wrong 100%. <laughs> substance abuse, come on. Me? Yeah, maybe a bit too much drink, but come on. I do get a bit crazy when I can't perfect something or make something better than it already is. The perfectionist in me comes out. <laughs> And now we get to the most important bit, love and sex. Okay. Great. That's what we're going to have to do. What else are you going to do? So the sign of Virgo leads Venus to his tragic fall and speaks of one inability to feel worthy, beautiful or lovable. Oh, Jesus. Um, is mostly based on the ability of their partner to give them all the love they need. Start feeling safe and open enough to show their soft, vulnerable heart. Oh God, I'm vulnerable as well. Uh, they will rarely have distinct, di direct statements of love, but intimacy brings out all of the beauty of their emotional self-expression. God, this is a bit weird, isn't it, this stuff? A Virgo will prefer a stable relationship than having fun. Really? Casual lovers. <laughs> Except if they become one using their charm and superficial communication to win hearts without ever investing their own. That is so cold. <laughs> Methodical and intellectual dominant. Intellectually dominant. I don't know. Each Virgo seems to have an equation in their mind that their partner has to follow. So, perfectionist again. That search for perfection. It is there. It is there. Next bit. They will rarely have many sexual experiences. <laughs> True. With the time anything wrong happens. Well, I say they're wrong because they were wrong. And were they wrong? Are they wrong? I think they're wrong 100%. Different people. For they need to feel important to someone and find real physical pleasure in order to get the whole... To give their whole self to someone. Well... <laughs> okay, okay. I agree. The sign of Virgo is easily attached to the symbolism of a virgin. No, thank you. But the, the truth is that their, own, their quality is mutable and their need for change often becomes overcomes their self-imposed restrictions and moral boundaries when it comes to sex. Good to know. I'm gonna go over the boundaries, okay. Trust needs to be built with Virgo slowly, steadily, patiently, and each partner they have in life has a chance to be nurtured and cared for. Oh, hear that, ladies? But only if they give enough to deserve special treatment of Virgo. <laughs> They've even got a tool to find your compatibility. I'm not even going to do that, that's just ridiculous. But I know Taurus and Pisces are the main ones, and people you get on with in general. Seems to go hand in hand. People who are your friends and your lovers. Okay, friends. Speaking of friends. Virgos are excellent advisors, always knowing how to solve a problem. They can make them helpful and extremely useful to have around, but also brings out their need to search the problem in everything. Oh, yeah, that's true. I'm always identifying things that don't need talking about or identifying, and everyone around them. Okay, they will care for people they build a solid relationship with, treasuring for years and nurturing them in every possible way. An inanimate friendship with a Virgo is always earned by good deeds. Fair enough. Family, poor, 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 people. This font is just really annoying. 
Blame the font, he says. Blame the tech. Not the fact that you can't read. I can read. Can I? We'll find out. So people born with their son in Virgo are very dedicated to their family and attentive to elderly and sick people. They understand tradition. Yeah. And the importance of responsibility. No. Uh, <laughs> proud of their upbringing. Yes. Everything that made their minds be as a be as dominant as it is. All right. Should we go on to career and money? I don't really care about this bit that much. Wait, no, that's better. Wait. I'll, I'll go on to the other bit probably. But let me let me read this first, guys. You may want to know this. What? Wait. <laughs> How do you attract a Virgo man? That's for the ladies to read. That's not really for me to read, is it? Right, let's stay with career and money and stuff. Virgos are practical, analytical, hardworking. Yeah, I would say so. Practical, not always. <laughs> there was sometimes there's an easier way to make it more difficult. So I don't know about that. There we are. Self-criticism right there, guys. It's part of being a Virgo. So always knowing exactly where to look for the core of any problem. Well, it's not that straightforward, but their morphology, methodology, methodology, almost, makes them shine at jobs that require good organisation, dealing with paperwork, problem, problem solving and working with their minds and their hands. Yeah, I've done a lot of admin jobs over the years, hated them though. Even if, whether I was good at them or not. <laughs> Problem solving. Yeah. Part of, part of being a Virgo. When they focus, perfection is to be expected from their work. A lot of teachers, ne no teacher ever said anything I did was perfect. Well, only at school you meant to learn, but come on. At least a compliment, you know. Because I, I, being a Virgo, I've got self-doubt, haven't I? So. I think we all have. Okay, so when it, yeah. For no other sign has such an eye for details. Remember that, people. In love with books and art, artistic expression. Maybe not in love with books, maybe artistic expression, more creative, yeah. They make good critics. I do. <laughs> While their need to help mankind serves them best, if they decide to become doctors, nurses, or psychologists not on the NHS please no thank you Virgo stands for practical and used things and there it is in their nature of, of these individuals to save money and always put something aside yeah not that I have that much money to save uh, they will see irrational spending as a bad habit I still do that sometimes. Or a matter of being spoiled. And always hold on to practical solutions that don't cost much. That, no, I, I can be a bit tight, I'll be honest. So tight my shoes squeak, but... Yeah, I mean, solutions that cost less. Not always, sometimes I end up, end up just buying something that I, lo I lost at home. And then I find it. No, that's not really cost effective, is it? Unfortunately, this approach can sometimes make them a bit cheap and too concerned about everything they might lack tomorrow well you need to kind of but yeah they need to learn to indulge in some I've never seen that word before hedonism too I guess that means just to be less tight so I'm gonna go down to the how to attract Virgo women because the other bit doesn't really concern me All right. I think this is the last bit as well Yes. Okay, how to attract a Virgo woman. Let's see if this is gonna work. I haven't read this already. I think it's pretty accurate to the type of girl I'll be attracted to, I think. I don't know. I mean, you'd kind of want the opposite of the same coin, but... Opposites attract, kind of. But, yeah. At the same time, reading this is like, okay. Why wouldn't you 
Why would you not want that? Okay. Virgo personality is a mix of intelligence, attention to detail, common sense, and commitment. And a woman born with her in this sign is very smart, modest, and capable. Trying to seduce this woman can seem intimidating at first, or anyone. Um, for she is likely to put on a facade of indifference. Now, guys, I know a few P Virgos. Like, one of my cousins, she's a Virgo as well, and... Yeah. Thinking of um, her situations with boyfriends, this kind of makes sense as well. Some of it. Um, so, yeah. I, I got another friend that's a Virgo as well. Um, so, yeah, she is not... However, she is not cold, but practical. Yeah, but it can appear cold, yeah. Realistic and cautious when it comes to starting new relationships. Yeah. Okay. Trust. Trust is probably what they mean there. She... What's going on? I just closed the tab by mistake. It's back. Okay. Internet not responding. It's trying to tell me something here. That is really freaky, okay. She would never simply give herself to someone without assessing their character and emotions shared with her from the beginning. If I'm a Virgo myself, I'm going to understand that. She doesn't, under no circumstances, fall under a category of spoiled, materialistic women. As all Earth signs, she will enjoy the material world and see any gift she gets as a blessing. Oh, very nice. Um, but still, truly enjoy things only when they are extremely practical and easy to use. They like it easy, alright? So they're not gonna find a broken geezer and just try and fix him because that's what normally happens and doesn't work. Um, and see any gift she gets as a blessing, okay. But still, truly enjoy. Yeah, I've read that bit. Extremely practical and easy to use. Digest. What? Digest? Or when in need of fixing. Yeah, exactly. Attracted to intelligent but distant personalities. Don't know how distant I am. A Virgo woman has a strongly strong capacity for love. To love. But chooses to wait for sharing emo emotions until she is ready. Private and defensive, this is someone who needs her defense mechanisms respected, but still broken by the, by the right partner. Whoa, okay. Now, I, out of curiosity, I need to read the men's one now. What attracts me. What I'm attracted to, okay. Ladies, yeah. So, the other one for you fellas, attracted to Virgos. Yeah, there you go. Anyway, to seduce a Virgo man. One must respect his need for cleanliness and order. So you can't be messy, ladies. You gotta be tidy. <laughs> Is that... that's... I don't know. It's normally blokes that are messy. I, I'm just OCD, so... Not me. In most cases, he enters romance slowly, carefully, and likes to take his time. Getting to know a person... Well, he, with anyone. Starting it before starting anything serious. When he receives information on what to expect, his partner has to be sure to deliver nothing less. Oh god, I'm demanding. I'm demanding. Is that new? No. It's really not new, guys. I am. A Virgo man might put up a call front, but do not let him fool you. Okay. He has deep and sensual needs. <laughs> don't we all? Don't, don't we all? Um, and only if his partner is patient enough, able to withstand his tendency to overanalyze everything, he will eventually warm up. It won't take that long for me to warm up, honestly. That, yeah, the cold bit, I'm, I'm not cold at all. Maybe I can appear that way, but no. Nah. It takes obvious and hard work to sweep a Virgo man off his feet. <laughs> he needs a partner to inspire, remind him of his own talents. I will often find such a person in platonic and completely irrational spheres. 
can search for someone honest, patient and tidy. He's always ready to settle down with the right person for a very long time. Don't know about that. Don't know about that. But there you go, guys. That's the main, the main stuff about being a Virgo. Uh, and yet, this video was quite in-depth about the way I am. Some things were accurate, some things weren't. But you got to remember, guys. Yeah, these are just what people... Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. It's been a weird, strange video, but here we are. At the end, once again, I'm Louisie21. This is my channel where I make podcast vlogs, reaction videos, horoscope, horoscope videos now, and even music. So stay tuned for much more coming soon on the channel. Remember, be yourselves. Always. Don't anyone tell you you can't reach your dreams. Because you can. Take it easy, fam. Peace.